I noticed that in communist China, as it's still called, even though it is frankly capitalist in the in the respects in which uh, uh, those things were discussed by Marx, for example. The power of our democracy. Now, probably almost everybody today has heard the quip attributed to Winston Churchill, among other people, that democracy is the best system of government, or I mean, the worst system of government, except that all the others are even worse. <laughs> and the question of what there is to be said for it is very important. Mm -hmm. We could begin by saying, reciting an argument to the effect that majority rule is going to be the best, as it were, that you can do. And the argument goes as follows. Well, we divide polities, as the ancients did, into three types. There's rule by the one, rule by the few, and rule by the many. And rule by the many is democracy. Now, they didn't like democracy, and the reason is that they thought that uh, the, the people didn't know enough or were not perhaps nice enough, <laughs> or whatever. But the point is, it's easy to understand people being suspicious of a majority. Nevertheless, take it from the point of view of any rational person. And they will ask, okay, well, how about uh, monarchy? Well, monarchy is great if I'm the monarch. <laughs> but suppose that I'm not, and the overwhelming probability is that I'm not. So, uh, the heck with, major with, with monarchy. Now, all right, what about various kinds of sort of committee rule, as we might call it, or perhaps oligarchy? Uh, oligarchy in Plato is, is regarded as rule by the wealthy, and that's an example of what we might call committee rule. Now, okay, then the question is, well, how do the committee members get selected? Who says that these guys are on the committee? I noticed that in communist China, as it's still called, even though it is frankly capitalist in the, in the respects in which uh, uh, those things were discussed by Marx, for example, still... Uh, what I notice is that there are 99 million members of the Communist Party. Woo! <laughs> and, of course, the big question is still, well, how do they get to be on there? Probably the answer is the other members get them get them on the committee, right. which means that the committee is, uh, rule is self-enforcing. Self and, of course, that's the way they like it. It is interesting it is, I think, astonishing that the people of China seem to have bought this. And I suspect that they probably haven't, but you can't say things like that out loud in China. And that's always a telltale sign. Anyway, the other component of democracy is most people see it. Now, most people, when they talk about democracy, will mention majority rule or something like that. But they will also mention majorities' regard for what amount to rights. And that's a very important claim. When you have a right, the idea is that a majority cannot countermand your right. If you have the right to do X, then a majority cannot say you can't do that. Obviously, that creates a problem for enforcement in a democracy. But still, uh, people understand the notion of a right, and they understand that that's involved, and that's, uh, that's very important. I, I thought, is there a distinction between rights, negative rights, positive rights? Like, does a, a negative right implies or entails that somebody can't interfere with somebody's acting away? Are you referring to that type of right? Uh, that distinction, I'm not going to discuss that distinction explicitly here, although as a matter of fact, I think the basic human rights are so by virtue of being negative, but we'll talk about that in a few minutes. First, I want to make a distinction between, see, well, our question is, is democracy, so to speak, 
friendly to rights. Obviously, most people assume that it is because they they think they can they build it into the definition of democracy, but it's not there. You have to do the democracy has to do something to support those, and it might not. That's the trouble. So now um, I want to distinguish between two sorts of rights that are relevant to this purpose. Firstly, there are demo what are we what we might call democratic rights. Very important. Now, democratic rights are the right to the various things that are essential to the uh, ongoing maintenance of democracy. Now, that calls for another little distinction. We might call, we might talk about democracy at a moment or at an instant, and then democracy over a longer term. Now, about democracy at a moment, if you have no other, if you if you have nothing else to limit the action of the majority, and they can vote on absolutely anything, and the word will be law, well then, uh, they could obviously vote to disestablish democracy. There are a lot of ways of doing that, but the point is, if you have none of these other, none of these lib- uh, democratic rights to support the structure, you're going to be in trouble, or easily are in trouble. 